Hello YouTube. How y'all doing? Hope y'all doing good. I really do. Well, we're over here on my webpage. And <clears throat> you see what it says at the top, don't you? Red alert, America is in big trouble, question mark. Well, huh. this young man right here is a senator, y'all know that. Some of you do, some of you don't. And right down here in this video, you are going to hear what he has to say. Hopefully the audio sounds good. When you think it can't get any worse, it does. This year, I'm sorry to tell you, the United States Senate is going to be voting on a constitutional amendment to repeal the First Amendment. I am telling you, I am not making this up. Senator Chuck Schumer has announced the Senate Democrats are scheduling a vote on a constitutional amendment to give Congress the plenary power, the unlimited authority to regulate political speech. Because elected officials have decided they don't like it when the citizenry has the temerity to criticize what they've done. They don't like it when pastors in their community stand up and speak the truth. And it makes their lives inconvenient when they're not standing for principle and actually that's pointed out back home. And I'll note this amendment, which has 41 Democratic senators as co-sponsors. 41 Democrats have signed on to repealing the First Amendment. It explicitly says, nothing in this new amendment shall abridge the freedom of the press. So the New York Times is protected. But it doesn't say the same thing about the freedom of speech. It doesn't say the same thing about religious liberty. What it says is that politicians in Washington have unlimited constitutional authority to muzzle each and every one of you. Okay, y'all heard that, right? Now, y'all have heard me talk about the Act 1871 several, several times. And I really do need y'all's help to do that. It's not just one or two of us that can do it. It's hundreds and thousands and hundreds of thousands of people to make that work. And it's hundreds of thousands of people to stand up for our rights and our freedoms. Now, yesterday, You've seen the story come out, and I'm not pushing the story, I ain't, I, I'm just showing you, and it's just my opinion. The story has changed now by how many died and how many hurt, okay? But it still happened at a 7-Eleven store, and the video was 7 minutes and 11 seconds. And the first story reported was seven dead, eleven hurt. That was the first story all day long yesterday. It was. Now, I got two videos on here. This one and this one. I made a mistake and said something about Nancy Pelosi and I didn't mean to say that. I meant Janet Pomitano. But people do make mistakes. When I said it, I made a mistake. And feel free to uh, uh, disappear and unsubscribe if you know that was sloppy. Uh, everybody makes mistakes. If you're perfect, make your own damn videos. The ones of you that don't have no subscribers that's been on since 2009, 2006. Okay? You know who I'm talking to. Just straight out of the box. But my opinion is 
this happened yesterday right now this particular thing right here come out on the 22nd mm -hmm. sure did now it takes a little time for some of these things to get a little popular or get the right person to see it before they you know get the popularity that they need to go somewhere hopefully I can do that by doing what I'm doing now for y'all to come over and see the video because it's not a YouTube video it's an embed video from uh, the actual uploader okay I showed you part of the video and show it all to you now I also took the liberty for y'all to give you the bill and you can come over here and you can read the bill and all of that for yourself okay it's all here the information that was put up and provided okay now you can read it for yourself and you can click back to these little links right here and take you back to the main page okay that's just straight up all there is to it okay now folks we're gonna go back up here to the top and I'm gonna tell you if this happens this red alert America's in big trouble if this comes true do you have any idea what this means for y'all or me or anybody else it means that what I'm doing right now will become illegal for all of you it won't be free speech no more if you don't have um, a music type skill or photo skill or video editing skill to make whatever you want to without using political anything political about any politician you might still have a YouTube channel but as the days and weeks have went by in the last few months I have showed y'all several times how they are this is just my channel that's what I see how many different places have blocked me or banned me out for days at a time just to keep a certain story from going out to people now is that wrong yes it is wrong um, some of you seen it some of you pushed it some of you reblog it some of you re-upload it some of you you do whatever you can and I know that and I appreciate it and you can still do so I have no if ands or buts about it I still pretty sure I think I have remix on the channel I may not uh, but I don't care you can still download them folks it's like this we the people somehow have got to come up with a plan a date and a time for all of us to spend the time to take away some money from the federal government and I don't mean take it in a bad way or steal it or run out and shoot up bankers and all I, I, no 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 I don't mean none of that I mean just stay at home if you stay at home and you don't spend a dime that particular day I mean a dime one one little nothing you don't spend nothing you got 300 million people in this country if all 300 million stayed at home and nobody spent no money for one day let's pick a day I think would be a good day some people will still be on holiday some people won't in fact let me look make sure that I want to say that day 
May, June, see July. Hmm. No, I don't want to say that date because, well, yeah, it would be a good day. It'd be it's a long weekend for the Fourth of July. But you got the fifth and the sixth. The better day would probably be the seventh. But it would probably be a good thing if we could do it from the 5th to the 7th. I know a lot of people couldn't do that. But at least the 5th and the 6th. It's a long weekend. It's a holiday weekend. Buy your supplies before and don't spend no more money. Don't buy nothing. Don't sell nothing. Don't go to your TV store, your appliance stores. Don't buy nothing those two days. You people don't go to work. You stay at home. All of you. Everybody stay home. Don't spend no money and stay home. I'm not picking the day. I'm not picking it. I just said that would probably be a good day. You got the 4th of July is on Friday. And you got Saturday and Sunday. There's still a lot of people that work on Saturday and Sunday. But what if they didn't work on Saturday and Sunday? Nobody. No theaters. No fast foods. No grocery stores. No nothing. For two days. For two days. If enough of us people, the ones that are my friends, that say that are my friends, and they're into the, really wanting to abolish the Act 1871 and become a sovereign citizen again and take care of these problems that our country is dictating to us trying to take our First Amendment the shooting yesterday the first, the second thing that come out was about gun control again and today over in Europe they had a shooting over there and those people don't own guns because they're not allowed to by their government but this particular person this criminal that I might add got away at this present time or when I saw it I ain't done a lot of research on it yet so I don't really know they may have caught him by now but at the time that I saw it he got away with an AK something I don't know some kind of high powered rifle an assault weapon they call it now he's in a country that don't have guns but yet he must be a criminal because he has a gun right if they take your guns away from you people the government becomes the criminal and the criminals become even more powerful over you as well. Now, this is just me speaking to y'all and me coming up with a day. It's not a day that I, I'm, I'm set and stoned about. Depending on the people and how many votes it gets, we'll see what we can do with that. Let's come up with a day, folks. We don't have much more time. We don't have much time at all left in this country. Shootings, mass murders all over the country. Putin come out today and <clears throat> stated in his little speech that just rolling it up in a summary for you that the United States' propaganda is um, messing up all kinds of talks with every country and it's all propaganda from the West, meaning the United States and Washington, D.C. So folks, it's, it's, I'm not doing this to harm people. I'm not doing this to hurt you. I'm not doing it 
to hurt me. Now some of you think that I'm into all kinds of craziness and stupidness and no, it's just people that have attacked people over and over and over again. And it's wrong. And this video will get attacked as well along with most everything else I do. But that's what we gotta get away from. We don't have no more time for that folks. We don't. Our freedoms are leaving us by every second of the clock. Every second. Every second that we sit there and do nothing try to come up with a plan the best plan that we can without pulling a trigger to fight for our rights there's only one way anymore we don't have any other way you can't protest if you protest and sling and holler democracy because someone's gonna start hollering it and that's what the media is gonna pick up they're not gonna pick up the ones that's hollering abolish the act 1871 they're the ones that's gonna get beat up the ones that are over there hollering democracy they're gonna give them what they want they did it at uh, at the Occupy movement did they not they sprayed them they beat them kicked them out of their camps early in the morning when they were asleep don't you understand people democracy is not the way they showed you and gave you what you want they gave you democracy when enough and it was enough for them they took you out this is something they can't take you out for you're in your own home they are gonna take 300 million people and put them in jail where are they gonna put them all get my point you congressmen you senators you get on board with this you and Ron Paul Ted you and Ron Paul and the rest of you the ones that you can talk into it stay at home those days don't spend no money get people start talking about it we need y'all too I know y'all kinda can't do certain things but you can do this you can get your people to do this. You can give them the day off. All you uh, business owners, you can give your people the day off. Those two days you can give off, or just one. You can give those people a day off. If you want to. If you want to be free and sovereign. And do away with property tax that makes you humble to England. Not to say that that's a bad thing, but in our by in in an, in an aspect, it is because it makes you a slave to the system, and you are slaves, all of you. We all are, including me. If you got a driver's license, and a birth certificate, and a social security card, and you got a credit line, or credit or credit card, you got a bank account. You belong to the system. Just straight up. That's all there is to it. You belong to the system. I don't know how much or how better I can say this to y'all. But what this man said to y'all in this video that y'all saw. If they take your first amendment and amend it and only the mainstream media can say something do you know what that means for y'all do you have any clue I know you do that means every piece of news you get from anywhere in the world is all propaganda from their their own from 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 now on it's propaganda Smokey the Bear was smoking crack. You get my point? Bigfoot was spotted yesterday at Washington with the president. See what I mean? 
folks. Fun and games is okay. Parody is okay. I don't care. But right now, parody is not funny to me no more. It never really has been. Parody, music, rock and roll, country music, rap. I don't give a flying shit about none of that anymore. I don't even like going to football games anymore. This is, to me, is more important for my children and your children than anything else. I don't know how much clearer I can make that to all of y'all. And the ones of you that hate my guts, so be it. I speak my mind, I tell it like it is. If you don't like that, I can't friggin' help you. Grow some balls and walk away. But for the rest of you that really love freedom and you really want to be free, let's abolish the Act 1871. Let's get our sovereignty rights back and call this a republic for which it stands instead of the oldest constitutional democracy that Obama has said more than once. So for that, folks, please give me your responses back to what day y'all would like to do this on. I can't get anyone else to do it, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to set something with the comments and the responses that I get. So with that, folks, much love to y'all. Y'all have a great day. And remember, abolish the Act of 1871 for your freedoms and from my cold, dead hands.